Today is World Environment Day. Basically, every day should be World Environment Day because there isn't a day, even a minute or a moment, that we can live without a healthy environment. If we don't have clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, clean soil in which to grow our food, we can't live. So today we think of as the day that re-reminds us of how important our natural environment is and what critical roles each of us must play. The United Nations estimates that by the year 2040, the world will have only half the drinking water that we need. We're already at a position in which about 20% of our planet's land is already degraded. About 80% of the deforestation of the Amazon is caused by what? Meat industry, animal agriculture. We shift now into what we can do. First and foremost, what we eat. Animal agriculture, the meat industry, is the single greatest contributor to climate change. 80% of the Amazon rainforest is being lost due to what? Grazing the cows who will later become hamburgers. It's being lost at the rate of about one acre per second. Amount of water that goes into the production of beef is about 2,500 gallons of water, about 10,000 liters of water for one pound of beef. You know how long that water would take you to use in bathing every day? Six months. Are you prepared to not bathe for six months to offset the water usage from that one meal of beef? The other area is fashion. One pair of jeans uses about 2,000 gallons of water. The fashion industry contributes about 20% of the pollution in our planet's water. In 2018, it was estimated that about 92 million tons of textile waste were dumped into our planet's water, to our planet's land annually. Yale University told us that people who eat a plant-based diet contribute 75% less to the global greenhouse gas emissions, to the pollution of water, to the degradation of our environment. So if you're concerned about the environment, and you want to make an enormous difference, a 75% difference, just eat plant-based. On this environment day today, let's make every minute and every moment count. Wherever you go, carry your own water bottle. Stop our dependence on single-use plastic. Bring your own bag when you go shopping. When you leave rooms, turn off the lights. Put eco-friendly light bulbs. Compost your waste. Eat consciously. We are conscious beings, whatever your religion might be, whatever your spiritual practice or path or lineage might be. All of us want to live consciously. We want to live with nonviolence. We want to live with compassion. So every time that you're about to have a meal, ask yourself, do I really need to eat meat? Is it really worth 2,500 gallons of water so we can have hamburgers? There's so much we can do every minute, every moment to make our lives and every choice one that is conscious, is in alignment with what our spirituality tells us. Our scriptures tell us, Vasudev Kutumbakan, the world is a family. But more than that, we are the family of Vasudha, the Mother Earth Goddess. It is our responsibility to take care of her. Our scriptures say, Mata Bhumi, 
Putrohan, Pritviha. The earth is our mother. We are her children. Let us live in a way that we take care of our mother earth and of our sisters and brothers, of every race, religion, color, and every species. And we take care of our children and our grandchildren and our future generations because we can do it. We can do it together. We can do it consciously. Let us make that choice.